I want to thank everybody for helping us and uh, for having us, Dan, and Gang at Gadget Off. It's quite an honor to be here. Um, I'm having a great time. There's great, uh, great things here. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about the Rocket Racing League. It's a new entertainment and technology company uh, that we formed. Uh, my partner, Peter Diamandis, and I launched it last October. Uh, we have a couple investors here, so i got to be good. Um, it's Grand Prix racing in the sky. If you've seen Formula One racing or NASCAR racing, um, same concept, but using uh, rocket-powered planes. We have liquid oxygen and kerosene engines instead of propellers or jets. In a delta wing canard plane, you can see an example right here of it. The idea is to create a lot of excitement for fans with racing in the air using the best technology of the 21st century in aeronautics and aerospace, and also on TV using the best synthetic graphics that you can find and try to bring a really exciting race to you at home on TV. If you watch a car race, there's a lot of you know, cement that you see, or if you race through cities, you race through buildings or over, over hills. But in the air, you can really paint anything you want in the sky. So uh, we're going to show you a couple of videos real quickly of what rocket racing is all about. This speedway in the sky will include stunning rocket-powered vertical ascents, high G turns, and exhilarating high-speed low-altitude passes in front of crowds of jubilant X-Racing fans. They're all linked together. Races will be timed, with X-Racers launching in a staggered configuration, capable of up to four minutes of rocket boost and ten minutes of unpowered fly. Several passes around the course, racers will pit for a rapid refueling of liquid oxygen and kerosene. Every seven seconds or so, crowds will see an X racer breathing fire as our heroic pilots walk it around the track. So I had to keep it under uh, three minutes and 56, sec 56 seconds, so we did some clips there, but you can see that there rocket-powered planes with a 15-foot flame coming out of the back of them, okay? Racing in a racetrack in the sky. So take a racetrack on the ground, tilt it 90 degrees, and it's going to race right here in front of you. So if you're at the race, you'll see this great fireworks uh, show in the sky, and we'll have 50-foot plasma screen or uh, AstroVision TVs that you can actually see the synthetic graphics, so you see them racing through their individual tracks on the racetrack. Same thing you'll see on TV. On the internet, if you're on a game, and eventually we're going to have interactive TV where you can race along with an X racer. So, you know, kids today, I think, will really love this. My kids don't even know what an analog clock is, okay? And, and this is really a sport for the 21st century, for 21st century kids, people like you and I, to watch. Um, this is uh, Colonel Rick Searfoss. He's one of our chief test pilots. He's a three-time spatial commander and pilot. Sean Tucker, who is uh, uh, the top aerobatic pilot in the world. Eric Lindbergh, Charles Lindbergh's grandson, is one of our uh, uh, top uh, test pilots. We've also uh, had our first team we announced is two Air Force pilots called Leading Edge Rocket Racing. And on Sunday in Reno, I'm going to announce our uh, next team that we've signed up. It's actually a Navy team, but I'll save it for uh, Sunday when we do the announcement. Next year, I'll have the plane here for you. Thanks. Um, <laughs> Granger, thank you very, very much for all our efforts to try to get the plane here. We did everything we could. Uh, we will have it next year. Um, uh, now, uh, 